Hi, and thanks for clicking in. In this video, we're going to cover one screen right. This is our built-in whiteboard tool for TL7. Let's jump right in and have some fun. Now, I can easily access the right tool just by clicking on the home screen. I can also access it from my toolbar as well. Let's go ahead and get this guy launched. So let's make it a full screen. Now what we're going to do today is we're going to keep this nice and light. We just want to go ahead and, and show you some of the feature sets and tools so that you get more comfortable with the, with the one screen right application. Starting here on the far hand left, we can go ahead and click on menu. You'll notice there's a lot of options here. How to save and import export, but I really want to focus on theme. You can see my theme, my background is already blue. However, when I click on this, I can change it to any of these various colors depending on what my need is. I'm going to go back to that same blue as I like that a lot. And then I'm going to click on template. Here's what's really nice. You can do all different kinds of backgrounds. So whether it's musical, whether you need lines to write, or even sport applications, you can bring them in and have easy access to them and really be able to work with that background. So I just wanted to show that piece to you. Let's go ahead and move on. Exciting part is the pen. So remember, we have two dummy stylus pens. Each of these pens has a thin tip and a thick tip, which gives you two different pen options. So if you look here, when I click on the thin tip, again, I can choose whichever color I want it to represent. I can even choose the thickness. So in this case, I'm going to keep it at the white. Likewise, when I click on the thicker tip, at the same time, I can still choose the thickness and the color. Now, what you'll also notice is I have some paintbrush options and I even have a little smart tool that recognizes text. So let's just go ahead and give this guy a try. I'm going to write the word white and I'm going to flip my pen around and then use that to write the word black. What you're going to notice is the black is going to automatically pop into text for me because that's the pen I chose. Now I'm just going to go ahead and write back to the uh, pencil tool. But what I do want to show you is this. As I write in white again, let's say I made a mistake. I have an eraser tool right down here at the bottom that I can easily adjust for really thin or really thick. but Another great facet is that I can take my, the back of my hand or even a fist, something with a larger surface area, and erase. So again, I can go ahead and write something. Let me choose my pen. I can go ahead and write something. And then, oh, I made a mistake. Let me just use the back of my hand and erase it really fast. Really nice, great tool set from an erasing standpoint. Now let's go ahead and move this back out of the way and keep going. So what you'll also notice is I have a ruler set. And I'm just going to go ahead and bring in all four of these rulers just so you can get a good look at them, right? I have right angle rulers, regular rulers, protractors. These are really great features because again, if you need to access them, you can easily use them. Guess what? I just did a right angle, clicked on OK, and it comes right into the screen. I'm going to take my two fingers and kind of push this information right up to the top after I get rid of all of my rulers. So I can jump right now into shape recognition. So what this is, is it gives me the ability to access all the different shapes in my gallery. Easily click on a circle. Maybe I click on a square. I can make it a rectangle even. Let's go ahead and choose a double sided arrow. You can see it's very easy to just pop things in here. I even have a flag. Now what's nice is when I click on them, it gives me the ability to move them around, to resize them. So you have got some great tool sets in here to really facilitate a flow chart or anything of that nature right here in your whiteboarding tool. Now I'm going to take my fingers again, move it out of the way because I do have a scrolling whiteboard surface. I'm going to go into the form area. This is where you can just get a few different blocks. I can write content in here with my hand and, and kind of make some block applications. Not anything I'm going to do right now. So let's push this out of the way. I also have a great feature set in a browser. Right now, I can literally, while I'm in my whiteboard, just bring up a browser. I happen to already have butterflies on the mind, apparently, in my browser. So at, what I can do is hold my finger down on any one of these images and then drag and drop that image right into my whiteboarding session. So again, all those different applications can be done right here in your whiteboard. And I can just click my browser and access any images that I want to. I can search the browser and bring in whatever I want to otherwise. I have a mind map application. Again, I can write some content in here. I can go ahead and expand these as I need to. So really great feature set to be able to, to work with that. Again, let's move this out of the way. Let's jump into notes. I actually really like the note feature. I can go ahead and pop, again, sticky notes. I can pop my name in there. I can pop in you know, whatever content I want to. In this case, I'm going to do mine and my colleague. You know what? Let's even do another color. Let's go to yellow. Now I'm going to do Rob and pop that in there as well. 
What's also nice, again, is that once I've created these, these are little sticky notes that I can just pop around this screen. Makes it real easy to utilize. And again, if I want to make a note and remind myself, I can put it there or put whatever content I want to. You also have the ability to have the move button used. Now what you saw earlier, let me show this to you again. I can put two fingers on the board and move the content around as long as I'm in the selection pin. However, if I click the move button, this allows me with one finger to move the content around. So it's just a nice easy way to do it with one finger if you prefer to do it that way. And remember, if I put two fingers on the board and pinch in and pinch out, that gives me that zooming uh, capability to zoom in and zoom out as well. So again, nice little feature set there. We have the grid feature. This is kind of cool. So for instance, let me grab my pen again. I'm just going to write my name because I know how to spell it very well. And you can see here, you know what? It didn't pick it up so well. So let me just go ahead and erase that like you saw me do earlier. And let's rewrite it so that the recognition picks up. So now you'll see that it actually did pick up and it puts it nice and clean on there for me. Again, all I got to do is click it and I can move it around, resize it. And again, just pop it off wherever I want to in my presentation. What's really, really nice here is that you have an add button. So you can keep building screens and, and keep it going as you need to. And you can easily go back and forth by clicking previous and next. Now, what's also fantastic, you guys know about our guru button, but don't forget, we've now also incorporated it directly into our whiteboarding tool. So if you need help, if you need additional training and you need that support from our team of trained guru experts, you can video call, audio call, instant message session them and they're going to be there to help you. They are ready and willing to take you on because they love working with all of our customers. But the great part is you can access it right from the whiteboarding software. So let's jump back over to the other side on the menu area. I'm going to click on the menu. Now remember, this is the area where you can go ahead and save everything that you want to. So if you look here, we can save directly to our 64 gigabyte storage built into the screen. I can also export this to my cloud storage if I'm logged into my cloud storage. I can even send an email to myself so that I have a record of that PDF and I can even distribute it from there. Now a very important fact is this, I can also save it within the file format of this software. That makes it an editable file in the future. So again, let's say I save it to my cloud storage and I want to access it again on the screen. I can do so and I can be fully editable with it. I can add to it. I can take away from it. If I want to PDF it again and send it out, I can, or I can keep it in that file format so that I can keep using it in the future as what we might call a living document. I also have the ability to create a QR code and that way, if you're in that environment, I can put the QR code up. Someone can go ahead and snap it and everybody in the room can then take that presentation right there with them. So really easy to also do a QR code application. So thanks so much for joining us. That was our overview of OneScreen Write. Please visit us at OneScreenSolutions.com or call us today. For over 10 years, we've been providing free, unlimited help and training with every product. Tens of thousands of customers and resellers in over 52 countries rely on Guru every week. This year, we've added a desktop app. So now we're there for you 24 hours a day, five days a week from six places. Inside the product, from your desktop, Android mobile, email, phone, and chat. Download your Guru desktop app today at onescreensolutions.com.